Hi, Mike St. Amore here, a.k.a. Precise26 from www.precisiondigital.ca. Uh, today we're going to look at the Euro USD, and for starters, we're going to look at the monthly of the chart. So what I'm seeing here is we have our key support area here. So we have one, two, three bounces on the key support area. So now we've locked in this key support. It's very strong. It's very reliable. We have a key resistance line. One, two, three bounces on the key resistance line that locked in this line and makes it very strong and reliable as well. We also have a secondary key support line right here and that's been holding very well as well. So we have a resistance line right here which broke and when it broke it touched up the top on the last guitar string and it's made itself a bullish flag and we also had a break right here and it broke up of and made the bullish flag so that's definitely looking bullish we can see the indicators are looking very bullish as well so I'm definitely expecting some bull here on the long term now we wouldn't trade directly off this chart so let's move down to the weekly and looking at the weekly we can see this much of the same thing we can see price came down here it channeled up and it broke out of the resistance line a pending order right here would have been a good choice here it came right up past the next last last resistance, the last stand of a resistance, and it broke up and has now made a bullish flag. We can look at the guitar strings and we can see that we are getting a little bit of weakness here. However, that would just indicate that it's making the flag. So we don't know how long this flag is going to last, but it is there and it could break at any time or it could just continue to make it for a while. Looking at the MFI and the RSI, we can see that they made considerable drops. The MFI went below the 50 level, but the RSI did not. Now, this shows us that there's sentiment for the bull side. Because as we went up, price followed with the indicators. But when we went down, price did not follow. So I suspect once these decide to turn up, which they will sooner or later, then that's when we'll get a likely break out of this flag. So a pending order right above this flag would be a really good choice for a trade. Now this is still the weekly chart. This is still very long term, so not everybody's going to like that kind of thing. So let's hit down to the daily. Coming over to the daily, we can see... zoom out here so we can see our line that had broken we even had a little bit of a breakout gap here very nice you can see the nice strong looking guitar strings they were they were very strong looking nice and steady and we can see that they're weakening up so we have a chance of, of definitely coming down to here on the daily that that's definitely a possibility so we might continue this bullish flag for a little while. I do see the indicators again have dropped considerably but the price did not so that could be an indication that the sentiment is still on the bull so as these come upward then we should see some more upward pressure on here. Okay. Then we're gonna go down to the four hour. And looking at the four hour we can see much of the same thing here. Very nice, very nice breakout gap. So we can we can make uh, some lines here, maybe. Probably have done something like that. And you can see there was a bit of break there. We can see the flag, bullish flag. Very good, very common. We can put another line right here. Very nice, very nice. You see that? Let's ju let's just get rid of this. Looking here, we have one, two, three bounces. That just locked in this support. Makes it very solid, very strong. We can see it's pinching up as a wedge. Very nice. Let's look at the one hour. OK, 
Okay, so looking on the one hour, we can see that we did have a break. It's come up, come down, and it's now coming close to turn resistance into support. So we could probably have another line like right here. So we do have a little bit more room for bear. Keep that in mind. We can see we're close to the bottom here. So that's, that's definitely a good sign. When these turn back up, we should get some more upward pressure. Moving to the, looking, looking at the guitar strings here, we can see the weakening of them. So it's hard to say what's going on here. The shorter the time frame, the less reliable these become. This is more of a long-term trend type of strategy. So right now they're not very useful. Let's go to the 30 minute. And the 30 minutes looking quite bullish as well. Oh, I just noticed that. Look at that. You see the divergence here? Right now, price is going down. RSI is going down, but the MFI is shooting up. That's a definite sign. Not a definite, but a very likely sign that this is going to follow suit, and so will this. And we should be seeing some upward movement very soon. So all in all, this is definitely, in my books, a buy. I suspect just right around here is a good buy. You could you could wait for some kind of break. There's not really a break to happen. The break already happened. So basically there's there's definitely a buy here and we're going to have a resistance line right here of course. So anywhere from here to here is a good buy and this would be your take profit area. And then you could set pending orders above these lines as well in case that breaks. So overall, bullish, definitely going up. We're going we're gonna to actually pass this, I'm pretty sure, and that we should have pending orders above this as well, this bullish flag, and that will take us up here. So we got some really good movements here, and uh, I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.